Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another episode in our Parramatta Career Mode series. We are in round 11 and we are getting ready to take on the Canberra Raiders. But before we get into the action, we have made a few changes to our lineup. And Clint Gutherson, our regular fullback, is back from suspension. So we've got Gutherson back at fullback. We've moved Bevan French to the wing, forcing Mike Sivo out of the 17 man squad. It was obviously going to be between French and Sivo, but French, it's hard to overlook him right now because he has been performing for us, especially in these last few games when he was filling in at fullback. So like I said, we are going up against the Canberra Raiders, and we are going to take a look at where they stand in the competition at the moment, as I bring the ladder up in a sec. So it isn't looking too good for the Raiders right now. They've got 4 wins, 6 losses, and they're sitting at 11th in the league. We have faced them in the past, it was way back in round 5 at GIO Stadium, and we did walk away with the W. First set of the game, we get a uh, tackle count reset. Pretty fortunate for us, inside our 40. As we send the short ball to Reed Mani running onto it. Weird to see the hooker out of position. As he sends it to Alvaro with the big don't argue down the middle. And we're going to get wrapped up on the 40. A second tackle. As we send it to Brown, bodies in motion. Beautiful ball movement here. But the Raiders do well to number up in the center making the cover tackle on the wing. Decent defense as we throw an interception. And it's going to be Sliva Harvili. We actually did alright to hold them out. As we get possession here. Beautiful fin by Takai Rangi, gets a nice pass away off to Fergo, streaking down the sideline, he gets pulled down, just past halfway, decent meters off that play, as we test the defense around the ruck, but Canberra aren't falling for it, on the third we go out the back to Brown, and Nathan Brown gets driven backwards in the tackle, on the fourth as they set up to the left, and Dylan Brown delivers a beautiful short ball, to new Corey who gets an offload away to Michael Jennings. Fifth and last, we're around 15 meters out. And we've got Brown on the short side. We may as well chance our arm with an attacking bomb as Brown sends it to the skies and the returning Clint Gutherson, AKA King Gutho, scores the first try of the game in his return match. It was a pretty decent bomb by Dylan Brown as we add the extras and go up by six. As we approach the 30 minute mark on the first tackle, we send it to Moiroa. Moiroa with the fend, but he's immediately wrapped up from behind and stopped 15 meters out from our line. Or 25 out, sorry. As we try a little short side play here with Bevan French. Not really making as many meters as we'd like to as we go out the back and continue to shift it out to Reed Marnie this time, who gets caught with ball in hand. Gutho in at dummy half, gets it out to Moses, as we try and find the line here, because we are struggling to get out of our half. Fielded by Charles oh, Nickel Clockstad, who steps around Fergo, and he's going to get shoved into touch by his opposite, Clint Gutherson. We got a tad bit scary there of Nickel Clockstad in the open field, as Moedoa charges through the middle of the ruck. We get pulled down 50 meters out, and a nice little short ball from Moses to our captain, Nathan Brown. We have an overlap on the right. And Miles going to get absolutely cleaned up. And it was the young bull, Corey Horsburgh. Alright, pretty uneventful second half so far. We're 52 minutes deep. Canberra in attack. On the fourth as they go out the back to Jack Whiten. And Whiten shoots for the 40-20, and it's a successful kick. Completely caught me off guard. As they get the tap on the 10, and it's going to be Whiten taking the first hit up. First tackle, another short ball. This time it's going to be Bateman. Jack Whiten getting a little uh, white line fever here as he takes another hit up. They throw a wide ball, but it's quickly... Quickly wrapped up as Caesar. On the fourth this time, another wide ball. And this time it's going to be Elliot Whitehead, who finally gets Canberra on the board. Nothing much you can do about those kind of passes, I think. Then again, I did kind of rush up out of the line. Like 
57 minutes in. And uh, as we kick off, we hit the red. And we're going to give away a penalty here at the kickoff. I just tried to milk as many readers as possible. And unfortunately, I failed in the attempt. As they get wrapped up on the second, 20 meters out, they shift it down the line. And Chance Nickel Clockstad's going to get driven backwards a little. Still on the 20 as they shift it through their hands once again. This time, Elliot Whitehead gets pulled down just outside the 10. Oh, yo. As they shift it down the line, and Jared Croker, with the footwork, steps around two defenders to score a much needed second try for the Raiders. I guess you can chalk that one up to a failed kickoff as Croker converts his own try and the Raiders go up by six points. Ten minutes remaining in the match here. Fifth and last looking to put another bomb up and it's actually going to ricochet off a Canberra Raider player and we're going to get the tackle count reset. The time to score is now as Nathan Brown, our captain, takes the first hit up. First tackle, we send it wide out to Paulo. Paulo bumps off one defender. And he's going to get pulled down a meter out from the try line. So we send it out the back to Moses. And Moses gets tackled out of his boots. As they start to get the ball rolling a little too fast for my liking. Check out Takai Rangi running from the right to the left. First receiver gets it out to Jennings. And Jennings is going to get wrapped up five meters out. So it's been pretty tough so far. Fifth and last, we send up a beautiful placed kick as Brad Takairangi goes airborne and gets the pass back inside to Nathan Brown to score a pretty clutch try with five minutes remaining in game. Mitchell Moses. As easy as it could get from right in front, will obviously be sending this into Golden Point extra time. Golden point, extra time, and as you can tell by the clock, both teams are struggling here, we're in the second stanza of extra time. On the third tackle here, after another meter eating run by Tepai Moidor, Alvaro tries to follow up, but he stopped on the 40, as Nathan Brown delivers a nice little short ball to Dylan Brown, but we're unable to keep shifting the ball. Mitchell sets up on the last, takes the shot, long range, and it didn't even have the distance or the direction. As Nickel Klockstad returns, wrapped up on the 20, Elliot Whitehead running onto it, shrugs off one defender, and gets some post-contact meters going. On the second, Whiten back with it, sends it out to Nickel Klockstad, who dies off the ball. On their 40. A nice short ball and then an inside pass back to Siliva Harvili. And Harvili gets around Gutherson looking for support as he tries to link up with Soliola. And they're going to cough the ball up. And that's where we're going to wrap up the action here in round 11. Not the result we wanted, obviously. We wanted to walk away with the two points, but we will gladly take the one. As usual, for those of you that are participating in the comment section down below, don't forget to vote for your top performers of the match. If you're new here and didn't know, that's how we're picking our People's Choice Award. And if you made it this far into the video, hit up that comment section with the hashtag Odd Squad. For you Fortnite players that aren't supporting a creator at the moment, I am an Epic affiliate and my creator code is Odd Squad. And finally, slap that like button for more Rugby League Life 4 content or more content in general. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you, 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 you. Later. Hey, hey, pass the smoky two ways. Hey, day, smoking since the school days. After school, the tension got us two faced. We ain't learning shit back.